Look at this incredible chart. Now, this is a trend towards a shift in well being, especially a reduction to anxiety and depression. I didn't want to use the word statistically significant as it didn't reach that threshold. But, however, though, as you look at Wasmania Coagulin's BC99, a credible probiotic in its entirety, the picture becomes quite clear in relation to the benefits. Now, look at this trend, incredible as it is, not at that 0 0.05 level we like to see. However, no. Now when we take in other biological markers per se, as we see the common neurotransmitters, the anti-inflammatory marker, interleukin 10 in particular, and the stress-related markers, all reaching quite significant levels of improvement, it becomes quite fascinating. Pay close attention to interleukin 10 in regard to its relationship to interleukin 17 and the blood-brain barrier as we proceed forward in the highlights. But without further ado, let's get right into the study itself. The impact was minor coagulants BC99 on anxiety and depression, eight-week clinical pilot study through the gut microbiota brain access. Once humans have, the backstory I should say, have mood disorders, the composition and function of gut microbiota can change, which is known as dysbiosis. Moving ahead, the reduction of gut microbiota diversity could inhibit short-chain fatty acid production, promote the production of intestinal inflammation, and affect neurotransmitter synthesis and metabolism, thereby influencing brain function and exacerbating anxiety and depression symptoms. This highlights the intrinsic connection between the gut microbiota and the brain known as the gut microbiota brain access. This two-way communication involving the vagus nerve, immune modulation, and microbial metabolism plays a crucial role in regulating emotions, cognitive function, and behavior. As a result, the gut microbiota brand access has emerged as a promising target for interventions and mood disorders, understanding mechanisms underlying